one way to sort of help your brain get healthy to get into that growth and health mindset is to supplement. Lion's Mane is a great one. It's been shown to improve focus, to improve energy levels, to help those neuro connections and the plasticity and the pruning back of bad connections and the expansion of good connections. So Lion's Mane is a great one. Omega-3s, I think everyone should be on omega-3s personally. Uh, they reduce inflammation in general throughout the body. They just don't even give the body the chance to make bad inflammation. They make all cell membranes a bit more fluid so all the receptors function better. And DHA in particular is extremely important for the neuronal cell membranes and myelin sheaths and things like that. So <coughs> taking omega-3s is going to be hugely helpful for your brain. You're not going to notice an effect for 60 to 90 days because these things actually, actually have to get incorporated into the cell membranes. But like most things with natural health, you're not going to feel that synthetic immediate effect like you would with, say, a Norco. You don't want that. If you feel an immediate effect from something, usually it's not natural. Omega-3 is hugely important. Lion's mane, massively important. Both improve focus, both improve energy, and both reduce inflammation in the brain. Alcar, which is acetyl L-carnitine, it enhances the function of another neurotransmitter, acetylcholine. So its combination of acetyl-CoA, which is a fundamental energy um, building block, and then choline. It gives you better cognition or focus. It's a nootrope, and it's derived of lysine and methionine, which are amino acids, right? It helps your mitochondria function. Remember the, one of the first slides I showed you, the brain mitochondria? So Alcar actually helps the mitochondria utilize energy better, particularly in the brain, and it'll increase your noradrenaline and your serotonin levels. Now that's been in preclinical or animal studies, and it reduces brain inflammation. So Alcar, lion's mane, omega-3, all of these things are gonna help your brain so that you can get that growth mindset to help your brain, to help your growth mindset, so on and so forth. Tryptophan and 5-HT. So a lot of us don't eat enough tryptophan in our diet, which is one of the precursor molecules to not just serotonin, but also melatonin. There, here's a list of some foods you can have that have more tryptophan. I personally take tryptophan. Um, and 5-HT will both help you with social cognition or your um, emotional awareness, your empathy, your ability to engage with, engage with others. It reduces aggression, reduces irritability, and allows you to have a better ability to have moral um, evaluation of, of different temptations and things like that. Um, and then emotional recognition tasks. So understanding somebody's emotions or intentions, more importantly, understanding your own emotions and your own intentions. Charles Swindle said, life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. So stuff's gonna happen to you. There's gonna be injuries, it's gonna be disease, bad things happen, but what can change is your mindset or your beliefs and attitudes about it and how you respond to it. But without these fundamental micronutrient building blocks, you can't, you, you're just not gonna be able to. So tryptophan 5-HT, omega-3s, lion, lion's mane, alcar, all improve focus, cognition, and energy levels in the brain. Yeah, it's a serotonin precursor. <clears throat> Chaga, less brain inflammation again. Remember I told you one of the fundamental enemies to your brain is inflammation, oxidative stress. We don't want that. So anything that can reduce brain inflammation is a good thing. Boosts cognition, improves memory and focus and concentration. And people that take Chaga have been shown to have higher brain function and better mindsets. So again, this whole family of mushrooms are remarkably beneficial for the brain. Cordyceps, this is actually an entomopathogenic fungus. So it's from the Himalayas. It's $12,000 per kilogram. It's one of the most valuable substances on earth. Uh, it is a very similar in structure to adenosine. Adenosine is a precursor molecule to ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate which is your energy molecule. Also, adenosine is what builds up during the day to give you sleep pressure in your brain and is what caffeine blocks the adenosine receptor. That's how caffeine keeps you alert. So cordyceps is a precursor, gives you this molecule that looks just like adenosine, and it's very antioxidant in the brain and very anti-inflammatory. Very expensive, but very good for you. And then reishi mushrooms, again, more mushrooms, right? calms the mind or calms the shen in Chinese medicine. 
It has also been called the mushroom of immortality. It's been called the food of the gods and the Romans. It's been called the 10,000 year mushroom in the Japanese societies. It's filled with terpenoids and polysaccharides, <clears throat> which are mo micronutrient molecules that make the mitochondria function well and reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. And then it also modifies the immune system to your benefit and reduces inflammation. All of this to help with what? Mindset, focus, energy. Ashwagandha, withania somnifera. This is an adaptogen, again, another sort of in the mushroom slash adaptogen family. Adaptogens make everything balanced. This is how cannabinoids work, right? <clears throat> so you have an endocannabinoid system that is the balanced system. So it'll make sure that no particular system is hyperactive or underactive. The body loves balance, it loves homeostasis. Adaptogens help you get there, which means they help your mindset be balanced. Ashwagandha is great for that. It'll help support any stressful situation where you have worry and anxiety. And there are many stress sources. What's happened in your childhood, what happened in your past, your job, your family, your finances, your environment. We're bombarded with stress in America. All we can do is fight back and get a better mindset about it. The stress is not going anywhere. Ashwagandha is helpful. <clears throat> 